What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Look, this goes out to everybody who is going through problems, going through painful situations, emotional, mental stress and distress and all kind of crap, and you are not addressing it properly. You are using other means to try to mask and cover up the pain, but masking and covering up the pain is not a solution to healing the pain. If something happens to you and you get stabbed in your leg, you cannot go in the medicine cabinet and get a little bitty band-aid and just put it over a stab wound and think that the band-aid is going to cover it and heal it and seal it and, and get it right. It's not going to happen, man. It's a lot that has to happen. You have to address the severity of the wound. You have to address the... The, the source of the wound, you have to see uh, how deep it is and you have to go through all of the uh, cleansing and antibiotics and, and whatever you need to, to clean the wound, then you may have to stitch the wound and then you go from there in terms of letting it heal. That's how we got to be in our uh, mental and emotional states. We got to recognize the source of our pain and our problems and then we got to go to the root and dig deep and go through all of the steps that are necessary to properly heal it and not just try to mask it or cover it up. Now, some people use the just, just different ways of masking and covering up their pain. Some people um, just don't talk about it. They just conceal it. And people will say, well, oh, man, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. I can conceal it because... You know, I ain't got to burden nobody else with it and talk about it, but you you burdening yourself with it. you burden burdening yourself with it internally because you're allowing it to just fester and bubble up and, and become toxic in your mind and in your system. And then the more you start to stress about it, then it transfers over from just being a mental issue to physical sickness as well. It can make you physically sick. And people don't believe that. People don't believe that mental uh, situations can make you physically sick if they're not addressed, but it's absolutely true. So it's not good, while it's not good to just tell everybody your business, because when you're going through certain things, there are certain people that don't need to know what you're going through, because, you know, we sadly, we live in a society where sometimes your own friends and family, they secretly rejoice in your struggles or in your problems and your stresses. So you have to be very discerning and very selective if you do choose to share what you're going through with somebody. You gotta make sure it's somebody that you just feel and know in your heart is, is A1 and you know they're gonna hold it down and, and not spread your business all over the place. Number two, drugs and alcohol. Some people like to cover up their pain by just um, what they call self-medicating you know through drugs and alcohol and just as a temporary this serves as a temporary um, means to, to take your mind off of it some people may know that it's not a cure or a healing mechanism but they'll just say man I just had to get away I just had to take my mind off of it for a little while but as the old saying goes when you when, when you come back down off of whatever high that you're on when you get back down, that high going to be sitting right next to you waiting on you. I mean, that problem is going to be still sitting next to you waiting on you um, to continue being a problem in your life. So that's not the solution either. We got to be stronger. We don't have to find power in drugs and alcohol. And, and, and we give those things life. We give those things life. There's no life in it. It ain't no power in it. So that's another way that people would will mask a problem you know one other way is is people will play it off you know they always smiling and laughing and giggling and act, and giving the perception that they happy when they not we see we've seen this a lot man you know I've known a couple of people um, that really in my mind and heart I thought they were super happy man and then you look up and you find out that they committed suicide or attempted to try to kill themselves because they just going so overboard to try to make the world and please the people around them. Some people don't want to burden folks and they're like, man, I don't even want you to think that something's wrong with me. I've, I've given off a, 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 an image that I'm invincible, I'm Superman. And people might look at you like 
they can never expect that you would be depressed or you would be down. So you try to uphold that image, man. I can't let them see me like this. No, I gotta, I gotta keep this face on, you know. And then sometimes you keep the face on because you have children and other people around you and your family that depend on you and you don't want to panic them you know because you know my my uh, my thought process always is you know as far as um if the head of the household looks like he's panicked then then everybody else is gonna panic we ain't got a chance you know so though that that's a, that's another way um, another way that people mask their pain, they 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 try to impose pain on other people. They lash out and they try to impose pain on others, though particularly those that are close around them. So you just, whether consciously or subconsciously, you want to make people feel the way you feel, and that's one of the worst ways to try to mask and cover it up you know you should never want somebody to go through the uh the hardships that you are going through if these are people that you claim that you care about so if you've been abused then you turn abusive uh, if you've been uh deceived and lied to and then you start becoming that type of person, a deceiver and a liar and things of that nature so you hurt you start to hurt other people because you've been hurt or that may be all you, you that be maybe the only way that you feel that you can get it done you know it's all you know so you just giving out what you've been given um the key as i said in the beginning is going to the source going to the source not being afraid to say well man this is what i'm dealing with this is what happened to me and when i say this is what happened to me it, it, it really it really doesn't have to always be an abusive situation it could just be a series of little things that accumulate. It could be a series of personal letdowns and failures that took place in your life that just accumulated and weighed on your mind to where you like, man, I'm just, I can't get it. I can't get it together. You know, there, there's so many different things that cause us to feel the way we feel, but we have to always Meet it head on. Meet the difficulty head on. Man is created to face and overcome difficulty. You meet it head on. Admit any wrong, accept and admit any wrongdoing that you may have had, any part that you might have played in it. Don't play victim to that degree. Because when I say don't play victim, you know, that's, that's a wide scope. Because in a lot of cases, people have been victimized. But even when you've been victimized, Shed the victim mentality because you have to heal yourself. You got to heal yourself. So, yeah, they did this to me. I was victimized. I was manipulated, taken advantage of physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever. But now that I understand that, let me fix me and cleanse your mind of it, get it off your chest and start to move towards the work get yourself together through counseling, through spiritual guidance, through your own journey, and just making sure that you never ever become the kind of person who treats people the way they have treated you, if that way has been wrong. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. I hope this helps out. Y'all leave y'all comments below. Let me know what that y'all want me to talk about. Peace.